Good morning, everybody. And good morning, ladies. Just getting out of bed, some of them are just getting up. And I'm back from my weekend off. It's a good weekend off. Found out from there we've had two heifers calf, so we've only got two left to calf. One could go any day, and the other is about uh, three weeks away. <laughs> right, come on, girls, up we go. We got so close. Come on. We just went 1.95 per uh, book source per cow per day. We're so close to cracking the two that this rain comes through. And you know it's going to happen with that. The girls will drop. Let's see if they sort of hold their uh, book source and see if comes up a little bit. Which can happen. Oh, well, we made it. That's awesome. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Ready to spell finish a couple of them. Both in the first row. Keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Don't want any slippers. We're at maximum in the can. Starting the wind now. Just come out to fill up the teak sprays here and catching two buckets of milk for the garbage. Shows how well they've all been. I don't know, look at the cross line from last night. It's just below that halfway mark there. That's half of that, that point, so the milk will well. <laughs> Jeez. Awesome to see. They have the weekend off, they go up, they come back, they go down. Jeez. They <laughs> are milking well, but shouldn't be that well, so we're either down a diaphragm or there's a stone blocking the, um, blocking one of them. Come on, you. So, it's highly possible. So we're down, a, down a head, at least, anyway. That would be the reason why. As it is, because we're getting the cups upgrade, Dad said he's going to get the, um, the... Same fellas that put in these book lines here, they're gonna pull in the whole new cups. They're replacing these. And oh, that's a new one. But yeah, they're replacing these and the cups and all the pipe work up to there today, possibly. Go. Okay. Ish. Be good, so he's gonna probably get them to increase the uh, speed of the muckle pump. Gonna happen. Monday morning, hot alkaline acid going through. Take the rest of the milk out of the line here. Yeah. Gave the dog some milk, but he didn't come and drink it, so it might be the last time I do that for him. There's Daddy washing the yard. Quite the overflow, that's good. Went through a bit too quick. And it bombed through and took some of these little uh, jitters off. But that's all good. Got a good wash today. Dad rinsed out the uh, can and the side can for the milk or else it still have milk in it. So, switch. Finish up and uh, get the feet some guards. So I'm going to plan today anyway. We're going to get the same colours that are coming to deliver that um, those cuts. we get them to drop off four new diaphragms too. And we have got a blockage at back right. Put this last little rinse cycle through. And we'll get on to uh, wash it up. Get to feed these little calves. We've got a little load up for these other ones. Okay, the, these cows are half a bag each. A half bag. The ones are little Herefords. I'll stop over there and uh, we'll give them their milk. And any meal if they need it. But awesome. Calves are happy. Hello. You're like eight weeks old now. Yeah, they've had their one bucket of milk. Yeah, just finishing feeding these little fellas. 
I had jumped in here to get away from them. They follow us over. We'll turn around and go and put them back out in the paddock. And look who's here. Tank is here. Good timing, good timing. Good to see them getting into the meal. They got half a bag over there. And these ones got the other half. So we won't have to give them any meal tonight. Dan's going to start pulling the uh, milk lift up the bits. And uh, we'll look at the place of those diaphragms. We're off to go and lock the cows away. Took the cows for any calves. And also uh, go and feed these calves with two bags of meal. <laughs> ah, efficient, efficient. Yes, pull the top of the milk lift pump off. Working, working, working. No lift pump. They just have a diaphragm on them and they, with a set of valves. And just looking at this one, we have a stone stuck in it. We don't usually pull it apart this much, but we're putting new diaphragms in the milk lift pump today. I want to pull that stone out and put new diaphragms. Here's the valve and there's the little stone. Just goes up there. A valve at the bottom and a valve at the top. And that does the job. Just check the uh, carving girls. There's only two left carving and no carving down there, so locked away. There's got quite a bit of grass out there, it's good to see. I'm not too sure how much recording I'll be able to get done today, but I'll see how much I can get done because I'm going to be in the middle of helping them, we'll be quite busy, and also um, my phone's nearly dead. Had a bit of trouble charging it last night. As you'll see over there, there's our seven, there's five empties and two still to carve. One is very close. The yeah, other is still, uh, still hanging on. <laughs> Alright, let's go and get put in these new cups and these new diaphragms here. We'll quickly head home for some brekkie. And uh, Amos Dad's, had 40 mils. Amos had 40 mils. The family farming in fun, Amos did. Dad's already pulled her apart. These are the diaphragms we're replacing. Dad said the diaphragms were alright, but uh, still, they'll need replacing anyway. Here it is all pulled apart, and he did say there was a rock, stone, and which one? That one always gets a stone, so it's pulled that off, and the, the book machine fellows are bringing new diaphragm for us, four new diaphragms, and also Dad's getting the pulley changed, this one, eh? One of, one of the two pulleys, speed changed up. up, yep, speed them up, so we get rid of milk quicker. With that, I'll go home for some brekkie, and by then I'll probably be here. So yep. we've had Dad didn't empty it yesterday, so we've had focus, you bugger. Focus. There's no focusing. Uh, 38 mils total, so we've had another 15, 14 mils since, uh, since yesterday. 38 mils. So we're getting onto it. So these here are a smaller bore. So you actually get bigger ones put in. The air tubes are the same size. The um, pulsate tubes, I should say. These fellas are the same size. So we're, not, we're gonna leave these lines on, replacing these, because these are a different bore as well. We replace these every September anyway, or when they perish. So it's all sorted. New cups go, it's sorted slowly. So those are our new ones going in, all 22. Well, yet 22, because they're going to be the same size as the same bore as this coming out. It's going to be the same bore through here now. And we get it sorted. Just well, yeah. turn them up, because they were coming out straight. They should be coming up and then down slightly. Yeah, that made a big difference too. Perfect. 
and lifted it as well. Yeah, I'll play it up here. Yeah, change the plan. Just change the diaphragms, then we'll get on to um, back onto the cups. Firm, but not ridiculously tight. Which is the next size up. Then we're going to put the plate back on it. Yeah, probably both. The next size up. I just have to measure what you've got there. Change the plan, they were just a bit too short. So bring it out, you pipe. Uh, these are just two short second hand ones, so getting brand new ones put in. That'll be cool. And new claw, claw cups too. Well, you, um, you've been at this. You can get the new diaphragms are in, and new pulley on also. <coughs> Ice bag, not ice bag, bank of ice, bank, semen, bank, balls, that is all set. There he is, putting them on. Let's get them sorted. <laughs> 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 Let's get them sorted. Put them on. Let's get them sorted. 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 let us get them sorted let us get them sorted let us get them sorted let us get them well, 20, because that's our one we had on here. Flash. Oh, one missing. <laughs> oh, well, now they clean up. So they took all the old, um, all the old ones, so we, um, not like we're going to use them anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, that's all done. Well, that's all done. Yeah, 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 we're just going to go pick up, they've got the last cup here, it's still in the shop, but it's just gone uh, quarter to three, so we're all done, brand new cups, see how milking goes tonight. Uh, we'll just put a quick rinse hot wash through them, just to get all the new rubberware sort of taste out of it. You'll end up grading getting the thermoduric if you actually were to um, go for a, yeah. Go and start milking with them, you'll just get a thermo jerk because it's got all this new, the new rubberware smell to it. So. Like awesome. Yep, like a, like a brand new couch head. Even redid these here and these here. Good cycle, guys. So. Oh, they're all getting the water. And Mutland Pump will be pumping out much better. Sounds different in here. Now we've got it. Mutland Pump's pumping quicker. These cups are milking faster. The water's gone through much faster. We're ready for milking. Dad's off to go get the cows in. They're all ready to go. Everything's all washed already. Tighten one of the diaphragms, I haven't quite done it tight enough. Ah. So, no leaking now. Oh, it's going quite quick actually. And the cows have just about hit the paddock. Dad went down and let them go, so. We're nearly finished, we've only got probably a row and a half left. It's all going well today, excellent to get all that stuff done. Come on! Excellent to get that stuff done. Oh. That's, that just broke. Huh. Come on, push, come on. Pop, pop, come on. Come on, girls, pop. Even though it's been a bit of a wet day, it's still not been a cold day, so. Uh, 
it's a warm rain, it would go straight into the ground. And that fert, it would have just wound straight in. Perfect. We've got to have some good growth coming. I mean, you can already see a couple of paddocks that were spread greening up, going a deep growing green, which is fantastic. These cups milk really well. I believe that we actually milked a little bit quicker because um, we didn't go get the cows until about quarter past three and we're just finishing now at our normal time. So probably made us about 15, 20 minutes quicker. No slurping. We've had a lot of slurping with the other cups, but they were, the inflations were getting old in those cups though. So uh, that could have been part of it. But still, um, that uh, Nadi milk machine's come and took care of it. Thank you. And they took all of our old claw tubes. We were gonna need them and uh, he said he'll work out a deal to, um, yeah, because they'll take all those parts out and use them from those old claws. Uh, and yeah, they'll, uh, more of a keen to cut down a deal to take them, so that's great. With that, let's uh, go and find a bale of silage and go feed these girls down the farm. Oh, yeah, the yeah. neighbours just finished milking. Nice jersey head out there. Beautiful animals, that's for sure. Very high BWs as well. Um, he's got a lot of cows there that were, uh, he was in the top 5% of the country for his BW, so. Knows the stuff with his genetics, this fella. <laughs> Very lucky to get a bull off him every year to um, go up to our heifers. Right, with that, I think we better go down and feed these cows. Dad's just feeding the calves. So pretty, can't see anything. With that, we'll see Dad in the morning. He's off to go and uh, feed those calves out in the front paddock, the bag of pellets, and uh, those little calves there. They are uh, gonna get dry. Up weaned off tomorrow. Now these girls are fed and all happy. With that, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you.